And then for you then to be going through your your record, that makes much more sense. And when you have your opportunity to cleave to the Israelites, you won't take advantage of it because you're too busy. Can uh, so-called black man apologize to you? Exactly. We already went through our hell. I was about that for a very long time. We've already gone through Jacob's trouble, and you still got people set out there supposedly the truth to talk about Jacob's trouble. I'm about to begin for us, even though we've been going through Jacob's trouble. repenting for themselves as opposed to trying to get the so-called black man to repent for her feelings. Both sides are going to do her a lot more than your feelings when you try to describe her. The most high is going to hurt a lot more than just her feelings when he returns. So should you be worried about her feelings right now or should you be repenting and asking the most high, you know, Give me the opportunity to follow him. You've given everyone their opportunity. Last call. You got your opportunity to see this truth again, right in front of your face. And then, you know, are you, are you going to study to show yourself approved? Are you going to wait for the uh, a breakdown, which you know, as you can tell, they're not giving you anything. I, I just don't know how you could, like, at this point, trust anything that these pastors and priests say. When they don't say anything, well, they don't say much anything. How you can make a, I don't know, excuses for them. But most of you your opportunity because it's going to be a, it's going to be a crazy day because when you start looking at Revelation 11. Now, when Mosai raises up the two witnesses, the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom, makes them go up. As soon as they go up, that's when all of a sudden, the earthquake hits. And you start to read the other books, like a Apocalypse, like Elijah. They go through some more in depth about, like, you know, you talk about like, how the people are turning into death. They're like, you know, you made us like, an enemy of God. You, you know, you made us an enemy of God. You know, even if we want to repent, we can't. But you can't even save yourself. And that's what's talked about. And then, like I said, this goes even more in depth as far as what's going to be going on. So, I mean, does it remove his people? And then you'll see these are questions to be asking. You know, this is what happens when you get the other book. You get the other books, you know. Does he, Revelation 11, he brings up his people. Uh, then there's a few verses in the book of uh, Apocalypse of Elijah. Then all of a sudden the people turn into the devil because they realize that they've been. They've been half. They've been lied to. And then now they're like, okay, I, I will listen to these people. If you can find me in one Israelite now, if you can find me some, find me one of the sons of dogs, I will listen to them. I want, I want to be taught now. But then it's too late because there's no truth in the world anymore, and the water's all gone. You see what I'm saying? Like that's why you got to go to these other books and start putting information together. Is that when possibly the people who are down in the um, subterranean world are released? Like, these are the no one's saying that this is exactly how it's going to happen. But see, the Bible all these puzzle pieces together. And now it's kind of like, start asking the Bible. Is this kind of like how it's going to be? Is this what we have to look forward to? Is this what we know? Because it's all this information that's all tied spread everywhere. And now as we get closer and closer, you start to see things. They said, you know, you can't go to the Gentiles and ask, you know, for their understanding. Because the most high now we just have to go to the Gentiles and ask them. Just as a people, you can't go to them and ask them for help. No, you can't ask them for because the most high said in Jubilee, he put his blind spirit on them to lead them astray. So if the most high put blind spirits to lead them astray, therefore then they don't have any truth in them. Right? And then 
that is confirmed in Jeremiah 16 and 19 when the Gentiles come to the Messiah and say, Our fathers have inherited lot. You see what I'm saying? Like the soul of all. The whole story is coming together. So now if you realize the Gentiles don't have the answer, then you need to go to Psalms 147, 19, 20, where it says that the books and these writings were given to the Israelites, and that he has not dealt so with any other nation. Once you understand that, then it's like, okay, we're imperative now. We need to figure out who are the real Israelites. Because the real Israelites are the only ones that are now that are going to be able to um, break down this information at the end. And no, it's not going to be the information in the Bible. We're also going to be able to go into other words. But then you go to 2nd Ezra chapter 14, where it says that the Most High gave a set of books to a certain group of people, but then he's going to give more books to another group. So therefore, and then they're going to pick up a stream of knowledge for the people, for the world. So yeah, you can't be stuck just talking to people who are only on one book. Now you need to be finding the one who um, the both sides blessed with not only this understanding of the Bible, but also the understanding of other books. And then those who are going to be able to read not only books about the future, but they're also going to go into books of the past. Because the books of the past are going to be you know, kind of like giving you uh, information to understand about what's going to happen in the future. See what I'm saying? Like this is this is way deeper than anything that you know we thought before. The Gentiles have always tried to oversimplify things because they've been given spiritual They've been given spiritual legal strength, and therefore they have to oversimplify things because they can't deal with deep things. These are just kind of things that I think about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what it is. This is what tells you about studying to show yourself approved. This is very important. The books and the other books connect with the Bible, but they also go into more depth and give you more understanding. But what does the Gentiles do? Oh man, it's just, just make sure that Kyrie apologizes. That's it. That's all that matters. He apologized. He can be. He can entertain me. Now everything's good. Okay. When I said all this information, I said it's not just given to one. It's given to uh, a few of us. Men, you know, men women. Just most like you know, he gives us information. For example, someone will say something. Someone will send me something. You know, and um, it'll start to it'll, it'll connect. It'll be something the most I kind of put in my mind to kind of think about and then all of a sudden someone will send me something and my email again is tribe of judah zero at gmail.com again tribe of judah zero at gmail.com okay and then you'll see movies that like i'd rather do another book you see what i'm saying i'm like giving information on the same thing i said to you know our people on different levels, men and women, I said, eventually our men and women are going to come together. I said, and that's going to be all, all else is going to break your skin. I said, when our people are actually working together as opposed to fighting one another over trivial things. And, I, and that's why I don't argue with you. Like, you know, like I say, hey, some of the cast, they pretty much only go with the Bible. I read other stuff other than just the Bible. I can confirm. That's what I'm supposed to do because that's actually in our Bible as well. I said, but exactly how the monkey is doing. So sorry. But I don't like to hear like attack other people that don't do it because that's maybe not what the most high has done. The two sticks kind of come together. When the women and the men start working together, thinking together, coming on one accord, that's why it's so important to keep us fighting, to keep us fighting over truth. I can't wait for our people to come together and work together. The men being in order, the women being in order, the children being in order, and being that light for the whole world. That's what I look forward to. I don't care about who gets credit for this or who gets credit for it, because really no one gets credit for anything, but the most I get credit for everything.
in order to take away from the fact that they're going to be the ones that need to be apologized. They're the ones that need to be asking for forgiveness. And that's okay. This is your heaven. This is as good as it's going to get. This is as good as it's going to get ever again. It's not going to get any better for you <laughs> ever again. It's only going to go downhill and get worse. Why are you saying it all? So, what you do with it, what you do with your last minute or whatever else, that's, that's up to you. Oh. But just know that the most high has given you an opportunity to repent. Is that me, my son? He's given you an opportunity to hear this truth and to son. repent. You know, we put all this, this is on the video right now, we put all these scriptures together. We put all this information together. Now you take it and you go and take hey, Research what I just said. Research the scriptures that I just gave you. Put them together. See if it makes sense to you. See if you can debunk it. You're going to realize real quick that you're not going to be able to debunk any of the stuff that I said as far as scripture is concerned. Because you probably never even heard of half of it. And you probably haven't even heard of some of the other books that I'm referring to. Um, but then it shows you that there's way more that's going on here than what meets the eye. There's way more that your pastors have not told you. And that they have refused to tell you the full time. So I have no, I know that you're not going to be able to re uh, review, I'm uh, sorry, you know, debunk any of the stuff that we just said. That that's because you haven't studied, you haven't, you haven't studied to yourself approved, so therefore you're not going to be able to debunk the information that we just brought out. What are we going to do? You're going to use a, a Gentile scholar that says, oh, well, the Gentile scholar is like, well, church fathers did not agree. With those books, so therefore, uh, since they didn't agree with those books, uh, we don't accept those books either. These same church fathers that have lied to you about absolutely everything, these are the church fathers that you wanted to uh, trust if they told you the truth. The same church fathers that took out Acts 29 that could have shown you how you uh, connect with the truth. Those same church fathers, okay. And if you want to believe in the Gentile that told you the truth, be my guest. The same, these same Gentiles that refuse to apologize for anything that they've done. I said, these, these same Gentiles that they refuse to, to acknowledge the stuff that they've done. Oh, and that's your choice. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to spend a little time with you guys this morning. I had a little bit of time. I'm glad we got an opportunity to sit here. And Spirit was working heavy and giving us some information and making some connections. Beautiful time. And, uh, you know, hey, when the Go back, look at the, um, the comment section. We've got a lot of very intelligent, uh, blessed brothers and sisters that are here that are sharing information for you, sharing information with you that you can go back and you can go and research. You know, right? and that's that's the thing. They they just me as it is. It's the whole community and a whole lot of people here. Are very well read. We have the spirit, their spirit field, and the spirit in them to give a lot of great information. Go back and look and study for yourself. Don't take, don't take my my word for it. Amen. I said, you know, go and study on your own. Okay. All right. All, right. All praise, most All high. Praise Yahweh. Is your Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Yes. Who is wisdom? Yes, sir. Who is Holy Spirit? Yes, sir. And Mother Yahweh. Yes, sir. Joe.